The Technological Institute of the Philippines, Quezon City. A materials recovery facility or materials reclamation facility or materials recycling facility, MRF, pronounced MRF is a specialized plant that receives, separates, and prepares recyclable materials for marketing to end user manufacturers. Generally, there are two different types, clean and dirty MRFs. A clean MRF accepts recyclable commingled materials that have already been separated at the source from municipal solid waste generated by either residential or commercial sources. There are a variety of clean MRFs. The most common are single stream, where all recyclable material is mixed, or dual stream MRFs where source separated recyclables are delivered in a mixed container stream and a mixed paper stream. Material is sorted to specifications, then baled, shredded, crushed, or otherwise prepared for shipment to market. A dirty MRF accepts a mixed solid waste stream and then proceeds to separate out designated recyclable materials through a combination of manual and mechanical sorting. The sorted recyclable materials may undergo further processing required to meet technical specifications established by N markets while the balance of the mixed waste stream is sent to a disposal facility such as a landfill. Introduction. The purpose of our project is to introduce the material recovery facility in Marquina City. It's all about recycling, proper separation and collection of municipal solid wastes. The MRF is a facility at which components of a mixed waste stream, in this case of commingled dry recyclables are extracted by the use of mechanical separation techniques. The MRFs may be high and low technology facilities, depending on the sophistication of plant and equipment employed and the numbers of staff working in the operation of the process. There has been a steady increase in the numbers of materials recovery, or recycling, facilities in the Marquina City more separate recyclate collections have been introduced and overall recycling tonnages have increased. Net. The materials recovery facilities employ a system of conveyors which carry the recyclables over sorting screens or other sorting mechanisms, e.g. incline tables, air classifiers, which divide the components of the dry recyclates, and these pass over magnetic and eddy current separators and may incorporate advanced optical materials recognition equipment which can separate out different types of plastics from the recyclate. There will typically be a significant element of hand sorting of materials in addition to the automatic extraction of materials as part of the separation process. The post-sorting of materials there is a bulking and storage function of an MRF, whereby balers are used to compress the recyclate into dense bales for transport to a materials reprocessor. There will always be a minor rejection element of contrary materials passing through the plant which cannot be easily recycled. And we are going to show an interview video of engineer Doris. The head engineer of Material Recovery Facilities or MRF in Marquina City, Philippines. We have a first question. 
What are the primary concerns of materials recovery facility or MRF? The primary concern of materials recovery facility or MRF is now the collection of garbage and then the segregation. The segregation includes the identification of the garbage that we don't know. Pwede magpolyo sa scrap, pwede rin naman doon sa recyclable, pwede rin doon sa mga biodegradable o mga biodegradable mga materials. So may mga, may mga gamit pa yan. Hindi, hindi ko makinorekta mo ay total garbage na siya. Okay? Upon segregation, we are able to identify or classify ano ba yung reusable, ano ba yung recyclable, ano ba yung pwede pa mo. Uh, for reuse. Okay. At doon, nakapaloob ngayon yung iba-ibang uh, relative uh, activities na pwede natin gawin after segregation. Meron din dito tayong livelihood and out of uh, the garbage that we collected, katulad ng mga used uh, colored magazine at saka yung uh, telephone directories. Yun ang mga ibang, yung mga ibang recyclable, wala naman tayo talagang facility dito. Uh, ours is uh, purely segregation. Naihiwalay natin yun. And then, we contacted uh, several uh, junk shop at sila naman ang mag magdatala dun sa kung pwede pang tunawin o pwede pang recycle. So, kung, kung uh, bakal yan, pwede gawin nilang paliwagong bakal. Okay? Pero, But what are the advantages and importance of having an uncovery facility? The most modern activity or modern ordinance of the city of Marikina. Really, the command of that is from the city government. That the city government needs to have a whole household to be able to survive. There are the biodegradable and biodegradable. Hindi lang din ako pupunta rito kasi very active and uh, talaga masisipag yung, yung collector ng, ng city government. Meron talaga silang uh, araw para doon sa nabubulok at meron araw sila para doon sa hindi nabubulok. Pero that is a normal and routine activity. Na hindi sabihin, hindi pwedeng nakalipas yung uh, isang linggo na hindi, na hindi mapupunta kayo. No? Basta uh, during the you know, during the week, during the days ng, ng isang linggo, meron doon araw na siguro twice or thrice a week na dadaanan tayo doon. Kaya lang nakamandato doon, dapat iwahiwalay. At meron kami yung ribo na ginagamit dati kasi eh, pink and the green. green. Ngayon eh, green na and yellow. Okay? Yellow na yung yellow. Yan, eh. Kung nakikita mo dyan, yellow and green na yung nasa sa dump truck natin. Ah, yun na ang yun na ang color mo marikina na yun talaga pala green and yellow green na yung green and yellow okay yellow means kasi nasa liberal party si yung ating mayor 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 sure sumasama yan yan anyway wala na lang siguro sa malon kung saan man sila affiliated na na party party tao ng political party kumalaga na naitutuloy kung ano yung magandang na umbasahan. At yung pamit, eh, siguro yun ang i-discard. Ganun naman yan eh, hindi lahat ng, ng nagkakawa ng isang administrasyon, lahat ka na yung uh, beneficial o maganda. At hindi rin naman lahat ay pamit. Kaya pupulutin natin dapat yung magaganda, let's, let's retain the, the very good practice, and siguro yung i-discard natin o palitan o i-modify yung ika nga eh, hindi masyado yung acceptable sa mga mamamayan. So, clear yun ang activity namin dito. Okay? Any other question? Ayan, bali ang kabuuan yung ano, yun ang birds I do o bakit ba meron tayo yung MRI? Okay. Sabi po sa akin, sa mga bahay pa lang po, sabi po sa akin, sa barangay pa, sa mga bahay pa lang po, How often does the dump truck collect such solid wastes in community? Ang kukulit tayo ngayon ay nabubulok o yung biodegradable. Pag hinaluan mo yan ng, ng biodegradable, hindi ko kulit kayo niya. You have to segregate. At lahat naman, dapat yan, 
napaka napakadali naman dapat sundin. Kung tayo ay responsable ay mamamaya, alam naman natin, ano ba yung, siguro tingnan natin, ano ba yung advantages? As long as identified mo yung iyong, ano, yung iyong uh, basura na nagpukul, kunyari, ang kukulaytahan niya yun, eh, hindi nabukulo. Ilagay mo dyan yung nabukulo, hindi talaga kukulaytahin yun. Pero, ang hindi lang kinukuha doon yung, kung, kung, kung tawagin natin dito yung sa kuyagot, actually, that is an extraordinary garbage. Kasi okay. hindi na yun ang normal na, na basura mo na nakuproduce mo on a daily basis. Kunyari, nagputol ka ng, ng, ano, ng, ng malaking puno doon sa figuran mo. Hindi naman garbage talaga yun. So you have to coordinate. Meron kukuha noon. Itong batas na ito kasi ay nakamandato sa lahat ng barangay all over the Philippines. So in effect, parang integrated na. Integrated yun. Ang sabihin, kung ano yung ginagawa ng isa, dapat ginagawa din ng ibang barangay. At kung ano yung rule dito sa sa Marikina, dapat ganun din yung rule doon sa sa ibang lugar. So in effect, yes. parang integrated sila. Uh -huh. okay? At uh, isang, isang batas, isang pamamaraan, isang sistema ng ating... Lahat naman kasi downtrack ang ginagamit ng masura eh. Kasi nga, yung... yung... Ilang ano po, pag gumawa, collecting dito ngayon, ilang truck po yung umiikot ano, yung po? Ah, ang ang pag-iikot niya, depende kasi sa volume na nakukuha. Pero meron siya dyan, ano, yung ating CMO o yung uh, uh, CMO, yung uh, City Environmental uh, Management Office. Sila ang pahala. Oh. Iba yung engineering. Ha? Iba yung engineering yung CMO. Sila ang mamulekta ng basura. Yung, iba yung engineering. Kasi meron niya MSO, meron uh, CMO. Para manamag po namin yung gano'ng maraming volume. Doon, doon, doon natin makikita. Pagpunta ka sa CEO ko kasi pumarikin na yung kanila nila makikita. At nandun, dito kasi very minimal. At halos dito lang. Dito lang sa pag-edition. At yung yung meron din daw na kaong barangay, yung kasi yung galing na mismo sa karsada, hindi na din nandala dito. Hindi na din nandala dito. Kasi automatically, alam mo na kung ano siya eh. So doon na sila, sila na mismo nandala dito. Aside from the the ano the household garbage na ano po nakita talaga ako na ordinary basis ng CEM. Um, in terms of livelihood naman po, paano po nakatulong tong MRF sa nyarip sa barangay pa sa community po? Sa community yung ay open area yung pag pag ano natin dito kasi tinuturo natin yung, yung, yung sa garbage okay? at uh, hindi lang tayo hindi lang tayo dito sa sa garbage uh, na na centro meron din tayong uh, programa na anggar naman ng Department of Agriculture inopromote nila ngayon yung uh, urban gardening at yung mga, mga tinatanong sa kunti container yung sa mga mga pasok Hello, na yan ay dito rin na uh, may pag-aaral na ginagawa dito ngayon nakagin kami sa na uh, ang pilot project namin yung hydroponics at sa tayong uh, mushroom production. Mm. So, yan ngayon na ano, yan 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 nakapokus kami. Kaya na lang, siyempre, after the seminar, marami pang rekotipo siya, bago makabago uh, makakuha ng pondo, bago makakuha ng pisa. But, uh, nakalinya na yan. Mm. Oh, hopefully, this, this year, magma mag, uh, ano yan, magmamaterialize na. Ay, hindi pa po nagsisimula. Uh, That's the magic number Yes it is It's a magic number Two times three is six And three times six is eighteen And the eighteenth letter in the alphabet is R There's three R's We're gonna talk about today You gotta learn to reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle If you go into the market to buy some juice Bring your own bags and you learn to reduce your waste you Gotta reduce your waste And if your brother or your sister's got some cool clothes 
Reuse, try them mom before you buy some overdose Reuse, you gotta learn to reuse And if the first two hours don't work out And you gotta make some trash, don't throw it out Recycle, you gotta learn to recycle You gotta learn to reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Cause three, that's the magic number And if the first two hours don't work out And you gotta make some trash, don't throw it out Recycle, you gotta learn to recycle You gotta learn to reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Reduce, reuse, recycle Cause three, that's the magic number Yes it is, it's a magic number